Hi everyone, it's Meg, and today is day one of the flats and hand washing challenge of 2018. Um, and so the topic today is why are you participating? Um, and I have three reasons as to why I'm participating. Um, the first is uh, to raise awareness. Um, there is a diapering gap in the United States. One in three families struggle to diaper their child. And it is um, not even 1130 on day one. And I've already encountered some of those thoughts and feelings. Um, so when I went to change Felix a couple of times, um, rather than being like, okay, just wash it next diaper, you know, with a kind of an, not unlimited stash, but a really large stash normally. Um, my thought was, well, maybe he could go a little bit longer and like already running into those. Is this soiled enough to take it off rather than like my normal thought is no big deal. Change diaper, move on. Um, so raising awareness um, for these families. And then two, it's a challenge um, to to hand wash um, using flats, like not a big deal. We keep flats around all the time. I like flats. He typically wears a flat and a wool cover um, for nap time. So I know flats work, um, but it's the challenge of hand washing. Um, yesterday I had like f a lot of days worth of dirty diapers built up, I think like five days worth and he's growing molars and so many poopy diapers. Um, and my, I was on my hands and knees um, dunking and swishing for the most part and my hips hurt and my gluteus maximus hurts and I'm just, you know, kind of sore. Um, you know, hand washing is physical work. Um, so that's reason number two, it's, it's a challenge. Um, and then three is community. Um, I am a member of this quirky little cloth diapering online community. Um, I'm a member of several chatter pages for various businesses. Um, a lot of like fluff love photo stream and just lots of Facebook groups. I follow a lot of YouTubers that cloth diaper. Like this is my weird little community. My dad is a, like a member of the Ray Bad Ray Bradbury um, online community. Um, and they talk about all kinds of stuff. And to me, it's so weird. It is just totally bizarre. Um, but that's what makes him happy and it brings him joy and it, you know, it's camaraderie and things like that. And it's, it's the same thing for me with cloth diapering. I've built a community. I've built a group of people um, that share this common interest. And so that's the other thing. Um, and I guess the fourth reason is a lot of... So I'm going to seminary in the fall. I'm going to be attending Virginia Theological Seminary to get my Master's of Divinity on my way to ordination in the Episcopal Church. All that's a fancy way of saying I'm going to be a priest one day. And one of the things I talked about with my husband Brian recently is, um, does this fit within the scope of my ministry? I was looking at participating in something and um, he said, you know, does this does this enhance your ministry? Does this fall into that scope? Um, and we decided that that particular opportunity did not. And I feel like with the flats and hand washing challenge, it absolutely does to that awareness aspect um, for families that are not doing nearly as well as we are. Um, and I, I just feel like this is a really important thing to bring to people's attention. So I also wanted to participate for that reason. I feel like this absolutely falls into the line um, of somebody who's going to be a priest and understanding the needs um, that families have. Um, so there's that. And then I also wanted to give kind of an update um, as to what happened because we started it last night with Felix's overnight diaper. Um, he slept in, um, and I'll go through this, I think tomorrow's prompt is um, stash. Um, but almost all of my products are Imagine Baby products, and it just kind of worked out that way. Um, and I'll go into more detail with that tomorrow. But he wore an Imagine Baby um, bamboo flat with a Hemp Babies, um, hemp, it's a half size flat hemp booster, and um, a Totspots peanut wrap size 2. And the reason he wore the Totspots last night is because Totspots has fantastic hook and loop Velcro um, 
like some of the best in the industry. And we had um, Felix's grandparents watching him last night while Brian and I went out to dinner. So they went ahead and they started the challenge for us, which I really appreciated. Um, and then like I was, I've been thinking about this challenge for several months. I discovered it last fall and have been thinking about how I wanted to participate this year. And then yesterday, like this weekend with Mother's Day and with all of the craziness of the weekend, I was not nearly as prepared as I hoped to be. Um, and so, communicating with my mother-in-law about the overnight diaper because it's very different from what we normally do. I have a stack of all-in-ones with Velcro closure specifically for her um, because she watches him once a week. Um, and it's not our normal bedtime diaper. Um, and so communicating that. Um, and then my husband, God bless him, does the first diaper change every single morning. So when Felix wakes up, uh, Brian goes in there, changes his diaper, and then they go around the house and say good morning to things, which is really cute. So they say, good morning, kitchen, good morning, coffee, um, good morning, cat, good morning, street. Like they, they, it's a really adorable little routine. And then he brings him to me for his morning nurse. Um, and I had placed um, some diapers, just pad folded like this, um, inside of a drawer next to like where we normally keep the diapers and um, I placed them in that drawer and um, I said use those covers and those flats um, and just place the diaper inside of the cover and put it on um, and it was like Brian brings Felix to me this morning and it was so funny because like I could hear Brian getting frustrated and like in the other room when he was doing the diet. I mean, it was just kind of, I was just like, what the heck is going on? And it turns out that he had tried, I'd showed him a few weeks ago because I was excited about the challenge, like how to fold a flat diaper and to use a snappy, which I'll show you all tomorrow, um, how to snappy a diaper onto a baby. And so Brian tried to take this and was like, where are the tabs? Where are the wings? Like, how do I do this? And he... I don't know how he even did it, but he managed to snappy a pad folded diaper onto our son. I, I don't even know what he did. Um, and so he like brings him to me in the diaper. I mean, it was just totally ridiculous. And so very shortly after Brian left, um, I changed Felix out of that diaper and into another flat. I kept him in the same cover. Um, it was a white flip cover um, and I changed him out of that diaper and into just another um, Imagine Baby bamboo cotton flat because um, I thought, well, okay, he's not, he's not going to poop this morning. Normally he would have pooped by now. And I think he was in that diaper for 10 minutes, giant cat, um, before he pooped. Um, so now we're on diaper change number two um, and... Like it was very clearly after that, about an hour later, um, Felix was making it very clear that he did not sleep very well last night and needed to take a nap um, much earlier than he normally did. So again, like third diaper change of the day. So he's wearing his fourth diaper of the day and I'm looking at his diaper and I'm just like, well, he could probably sleep in that. Um, I probably could have, um, but at the same time, like, no, we always change diaper before nap, like always. That's just our routine. Um, so it's 11:30, and he's had the diaper that Brian did. He's had the diaper that I did that he pooped in. He's had um, another diaper that he was in for an hour, and now he's in his bedtime or his nap time diaper. Um, he wore his white flip cover for the first three diapers, and he's now in. Um, an Imagine Baby cover. So that's where we are today. Um, my husband has texted me and said that he is sick, so I'm going to go pick him up from work. I have to go wake the baby up from his nap, um, and I will let y'all know tomorrow how the rest of today went. Um, I think I am going to do some washing later today because, I mean, we're running out of diapers as it is. Um, so I will check in with y'all tomorrow and um, I will put um, the link for clothdiaperrevival.com which has the, um, 
the story of how the challenge got started. Um, and then additionally, I will put um, a link to my Instagram account or at least my Instagram handle um, so that y'all can see photos um, of our challenge um, and how it's been progressing. So thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a good day.